we read a lot of books to our kids. We did it as part of our nighttime ritual for bed. We'd read three or four, five books, quite a few uh, every night and even every nap time. Um, and one of the things I was acutely aware of in my life as I made my way as a writer and an actor was that, I mean, the assumption that I could even be a writer and an actor was a tough one for me to take on. And I wanted my kids to feel that they could be creators and from a young age. So while we're reading, after all, you know, a few years of that, I'm thinking, why don't we write a poem and they'll see that the book they just read, which is professionally made, you know, and the adult wrote it, they can also write something and we'll put it in a book that we made up and they can feel like they're building the world around them. My son invented the word zillet for blanket fort and he did it without making an effort. He just started calling it a zillet. We didn't know what he was talking about. Then he explained, you know, like a fort with blankets, a zillet. I don't know where he got it, but um I would say, be careful, don't get rambunctious or you'll compromise the integrity of the zillet. And then I would say, you'll knock it over. And so I would use phrasing like that all the time, both because it made me smile as an adult to use phrasing that was a little out, more than a little outside a kid's grasp, and then to restate it in a way that they could understand it. And to think, you know, Aaron pointed out that, that sometimes when kids get a hold of a word, a big word, they use, they use it a lot, which I love so much. And we talked about the apparently kid, you know, on the YouTube video. You know, it's a great example. Somebody said the word apparently around him and he grasped what it meant and he just couldn't stop using it, right? Working with him in this project, not under him, not as doing the same thing as him, but as the other half, he couldn't draw the things I drew and I couldn't have written the things he wrote. And so respecting each other in that way and seeing it as two parts of a whole that was coming together was super uh, important to feeling valued and important and in integral to the experience and also making me want to continue to collaborate.